Hello, I'm Dr. Jimmy Gutman. Let's look at an interesting topic today, the immune system. What is the immune system? Well, there's so many definitions, but let's look at a real simple one. Think of your immune system as your body's primary defense system. Now, defense against what? Well, defense from something we call a foreign antigen. Yeah, classic examples would be a bacteria, or a fungus, or a virus, or a parasite. All of these are not supposed to be in your body. Now, given that the topic everybody is talking about these days is viral disease, let's take a closer look at my favorite topic, glutathione and viral disease. Uh, if you go to PubMed, which is the most reliable source of original research, let's get an idea of how many publications have been posted there on this very subject. If you enter the key terms glutathione and virus into the search engine, you're going to get back uh, somewhere around 3,500 different articles. And of course, it's important to know how many of these uh, have looked at humans. Uh, if you add the filter human to that, um, you're coming up with almost 2,000 articles on this topic. That's a lot of research. So how does this all work? Well, let me give you a little course on the immune system. And for all the doctors out there, please forgive me. We're going to do this in 90 seconds. You ready? So today's subject is going to be me. You all know how I love to visit with you and be out there with you. And I'm hugging you and I'm shaking hands with you. And once in a while, someone is going to leave a little glob of viral particles on my finger. You see it there, that green thing at the end of the arrow. So now I'm carrying this virus. It's on my finger. And a little later on, I forget about hygiene, and I rub my eye. This gives a viral particle the opportunity to get into my bloodstream. And almost immediately, you see that viral particle being surrounded by white blood cells. These are our frontline soldiers of the immune system, and they're going to try to destroy that viral particle. But in a short period of time, there might be hundreds or thousands, and after a while, even millions of these viral particles. But I only have a certain number of white blood cells. Uh, clearly, they're going to be outnumbered. How do I continue the battle? Well, my white blood cells start to make clones of themselves. They multiply over and over and over again, trying to build up their numbers to win. And in their ideal situations, this division can take place 500 times. That's not 500 white blood cells. That's 500 divisions. So you can't even fit a number that large on your calculator. But here's the thing. When glutathione levels begin to fall, this process starts to slow down. And as Dr. Gustavo Bunos so eloquently wrote, the limiting factor for the function and clonal expansion of lymphocytes, or white blood cells, is their availability of glutathione. I like to put it a little bit simpler. Think of glutathione literally as food or fuel for your immune system. Bottom line, as glutathione levels fall, so does your immune function. So please, Eat well, sleep well, wash your hands regularly, don't touch your face, minimize social habits like kissing and shaking hands, and finally, pay attention to your glutathione levels. I hope you've enjoyed this little explanation of the immune system, glutathione, and better still, um, I hope you picked up a couple of those tips on how to keep yourself healthy and avoid infections during these challenging times.
Looking forward to seeing you again soon.